Hi guys, welcome to this um, virtual box system. Just played around with it, installed it, and um, I'm gonna show you something. So let's uh, restart or right control R, virtual box resets. ISO is still in there, great. And we boot up with an older one from, uh, from January 2101.8, I think it is. We'll soon know. And the topic of the video is BTRFS. BTRFS has been covered in the Calamars article on articlinks.com. But I've made something, uh, I've made a video about BTRFS in ALCI. So one of the new projects is the Arch Linux Calamars installer. It's just a what if I had with the knowledge I have already from building Article Linux, D and the Bs and all that, I thought, what if, what if I could actually um, add Calamaris to my um, ISO of Arch Linux? So LCI, well, there, that's SourceForge, that's okay, you can download it there. But the point is actually, you should build it, right? So SourceForge is also an OSD net and um, this is a way around it and here you find LCI, LCI online it got its own ISO uh, sorry its own website and when the light is green you can start building because that's the point of the project build the ISO yes you can download point is build the ISO and in here I've made an article saying that BTRFS control find BTRFS change the configuration of Calamaris to use BTRFS by default. In this case, we're actually building Calamaris, right? We have an own repo and we build it, but it's so easy to do it on any of the Calamaris out there, right? Not just Article Linux. I always teach you to think out of the box, try out other distros, think out of the box, Linux is Linux, and just glad you're on Linux. So, Calamaris is used on 20 or more uh, distros out there. It all depends where the developers put their data. Often it's in file, uh, in slash here, etc, and then have this folder, Calamaris. But it can be also in file system, user share, there's the lib here, there's a part of Calamaris that's gonna be here, and a part of it's gonna be here. So it all depends where will they put it where's calamaris here it is right so these three places that's where calamaris resides in our case it's an etc calamaris i worked i want to keep the configuration separate from the application and here is the configuration and this gives us an easy way to say to the system before it boots obviously run calamaris before it boots you take a look and maybe if you know already the command pt, that's the easiest thing for me. There you go. This is where all x4 um, text, so the text x4 comes in. And in partition.conf, you probably are going to think, well, just like me, probably I should change that little thing to ptrfs and done. And that's it. It really is just that. And then if you run Calamaris, then Calamaris will say, okay, I read not the letters ext4, but jfs, xfs, riser, x2, ptrs, all right? So, ptrfs, control s, save it. And there you go. If Calamaris is launched, it will look at the configuration, it will read ptrfs, what do you get? Right. A standard by default installation of ptrfs and let's just go through the motions so you still see it and then stop the video there so it's so easy not just for Arch Linux I am teaching you Linux so any Calamaris will do just fine here it says already ptrfs right now at this point in time and then this is the time I don't think encryption is still is yet possible, so they're working on that. So just keep it simple and, and stupid. You can do these things, of course, All right? Keep it kiss. And um, then you just click 
and go on your business and of course PTRFS is maybe the thing you want to have PTRFS is because maybe look at this here that you want to have time shift and and so on and the auto snap of time shift also explained in this little article that we've added here I'm not sure I think we can find it on the github so just go to the building code and in here is the package build let's see what I put in there uh, let me think let me think let me think okay it's gonna be in here ISO dev there's a package list packages x86 64 ah click all the way at the bottom so add time shift grub ptrfs time shift auto snap things like that and you'll have a system you probably gonna love because it's based on ptrfs all right that's it it's easy only it requires some knowledge some reading some trial and there you go cheers